Hi everyone, welcome to my Stats 1 OCR January 2013 paper. We're going to have a look at question 4. So it's a permutations combinations question because we're talking about arrangements and ordering numbers. So how many different three digit numbers can be formed using the digits 1, 2, 3? And part A says no repetitions allowed. You should know how to order three objects, three factorial, which is three times two times one, which is six. If repetitions are allowed, it gets a little bit more complicated, but you just have to think for our first number, how many ways are there to pick it? Well, there's three. For our second number, three. For our third number, three. So the answer is three times three times three which is 27 for two marks. Now it says each digit may be included at most twice. That means it can be included once or twice. A clever way to think about this question is you do not want it to be repeated three times. So you do not want one, one, one. You do not want two, two, two. And you do not want three, three, three. There's only three things that you don't want out of the total possible number of 27. So a little shortcut for you, 27, take away three, gives you the answer of 24. Now, I think part two is quite tricky. We have the three numbers again, one, two, and three. And now we're thinking of making four digit numbers. Now, if you think carefully, if you're using three different numbers, one, two, and three, to make up a four-digit number, one of them is going to have to be repeated at least once. So let's imagine that we bring a two here. Um, we could have another two. And then the others could either be repeated or not repeated. So let's think of the case of having a one repeated, one and a one. Our other option is the other two cards are repeats. So that's one way that it could happen. Okay. One number repeated and the other number repeated. We'll think about that in a sec. The other way you could arrange these four digits, remember that we said that at least one has to be repeated. So why not say that that's the number one that's going to be repeated, just in a specific example. And the other two numbers, let's say, are going to be different. So, for example, two and three. I know they're just two different cases, but we're going to explore these basic cases to get our formulas. Anything else apart from the, these basic cases is going to repeat more than two times. For example, if you had one, 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 and then something else, or four ones, they're not allowed. So all we have to do is think about how many ways we can get this. So there's four objects to order, which we can do in four factorial ways, but some are repeated. We have two ones, so we have to divide by two factorial to account for them being switched and it not mattering. And the twos are repeated in this case. So we have to divide also by two factorial to account for those being swapped and it not mattering. Now that is just a specific example. Obviously, we could have started with twos here, or we could have started with threes there. For that reason, we have to multiply this answer by 3, and it gives us 18 different ways. In the second case, again, we've got um, the first number repeated. So there's four factorial ways to arrange the four objects, and then we only have to divide by two factorial on, th on this one. And again, this could have been done with twos or threes, as well as ones. So multiply by three and you get 36. 
So there's 18 ways to do that, 36 ways to do that, which gives you the final answer for five marks of 54 ways. Hope this has been helpful. I hope this will help you to achieve maths. Goodbye.